Productivity for a productive Muslim is focus times energy times time. اعملوا فكلكم يسر لما خلق له. Work, all of you be made easy what you've been created for. So each one of us have been created for a purpose. We are happiest, we are most ecstatic when we fulfill our purpose on this earth. Don't think being productive means just work, work, work. Being means living a holistic lifestyle. Have a sense of urgency. Realize your life is short. That in any moment you may die. And again, if you have a sense of purpose, if you understand your purpose and why you individually have been created, you'll know that you have no time to fulfill your purpose. So that means you have to work harder and faster. People think sleep, that's easy. Just drop dead every night. There's more to this. After this session, you'll never see sleep the same again. Naps are extremely powerful. Remember, we're not machines. We wake up at 4 in the morning or 5 in the morning or nowadays, if I just get 6 in the morning, and you expect us to continue working like machines for 8 out 9 hours, it's very difficult. We are not machines, we are human beings. We're here to learn about three spheres of productivity. Spiritual, physical, and social. You don't wake up in the morning and, ah, I'm productive today. It takes time. It's a process. Also, productivity is not boring. People think Mr. Productive, you know, is always busy, he cannot do anything right now. Sorry, he's busy, sorry. That's not being productive. Productivity is knowing when to have fun and when to work. When to relax and when to go forward. Even Prophet Muhammad sallallahu who was the most productive man ever lived, he took time out. Productivity is about making the smart choices in your life. When you decide to wake up early, that's a smart choice. When you decide to turn off your phone for half an hour so you can get work done, that's a smart choice. It's making those smart choices daily. The day is the movie. The day is this kid's so active, right? Every hour you should be moving. Don't be sitting for more than an hour. Think big, start small. Think big, right? You have, a, you have an ummah. I want to teach the Quran the ummah. But start small, say I want to start myself first, start my friends, and keep growing. That's how big, that's how successful projects continue. Your brain doesn't really multitask. What it does is it switches between two tasks very, very quickly. So even though you think you're doing two things at the same time, what you realize is you're, you're switch, your brain is switching between two different, two different attentions, two different focuses very, very quickly.